You can now turn to page uh, 98, and this is exercise uh, 28. And we'll start with a rate here, which is approximately 35. And if we map it out, here's a QRS that falls in a dark line. So the heart rate is 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, 50, 43, 37, 33. So somewhere between 37 and 33. And in my book, that's about 35. Um, the P waves are definitely uh, present and upright and consistent in morphology. The peer interval is consistent where P waves uh, are followed by QRSs. So, in other words, uh, the peer interval here is identical to the peer interval here, is identical to the peer interval here, and identical to the peer interval here. Now, just keep in mind, we don't see that with a third degree V block, and we don't see that with a second degree V block type one or a winky block, right? So we can we can eliminate third degree V block, and we can eliminate second degree V block type one, right? Right off the bat, um, the QRS is narrow, uh, less than 0 0.12 second. The ratio is three to one, so we have a P wave here, a P wave here, and a third P wave there, and again we see the pattern repeated: P wave. P wave, P wave, do you like that when I'm not talking? I sure like it, I'm getting tired of talking, but um, there you go. So <laughs> we have a consistent 3 to 1 ratio and the rhythm is regular and uh, so when you have uh, a slow heart rate um, and um, uh, a ratio of three P waves per QRS with a consistent PR interval. This is a second degree AV block type two with a heart rate of 35 beats per minute.